Right, this is my installation of a Shelly 2.5 relay on a two gang one way switch. I'm not an electrician, so any advice you take from me, you do so at your own risk. Um, now, uh, you find the live, uh, live wire in and the other one that uh, carries on the circuit to the rest of the um, kitchen light circuits, There's live in, live out, connect them up to a connector block, out come three more live wires, one, two, three, and uh, this live wire goes to the uh, back of the wall switch, can you see that, L1 in the off position, it's an upside down Y, there's two connections at the bottom, one at the top, it's the opposite way around on the other side, so it goes to L1, if you get a live, straight out of the connector block, so all the lives are connected. Uh, so when you turn the light switch on, uh, I've got the power off by the way, so the light switches are down so they're on, that would turn the light on. Uh, out of the top of that switch, uh, yeah, that was connected to L, that's, that was connected to L2, out of the top of the upside down Y, we've got the L1, go into the switch one of the Shelly. Don't know if you can see that because of the glare. Switch SW1. Um, now the other live wire comes straight out of the Shelly, uh, comes straight out of the connector block with the live power feed in and goes to L on the Shelly. And out of that, uh, make a connection with this little red, uh, I just taped it red, I know it's the wrong colour, but uh, I plan to change that uh, after this video, so that should be brown live. So I've got a live, this this wire comes in live and you look into L and then you make another live connection to the other L out of that. So there's two wires in the first L, one into the other one. Um, now this other wire here, because it's a, a Shelly 2.5 and is controlling the other switch, that second live does the same thing as this first live I told you about. So that comes out and goes to the, again, the it's, uh, oops, it's the opposite of this. That Y was upside down, this Y is the right way up. So there's two connections at the top of this one. And that goes into, that one says L, oops, that says L3. Uh, yeah, that goes to L3. So that's uh, there's two connections at the top of this one and one at the bottom. Whereas on this other side, there's two at the bottom and one at the top. So anyway, this live wire comes out into L3. Uh, and again, when it switches down, it powers it on. The single connection at the bottom of the other switch, L1, comes out and goes to the SW2 on the Shelly, if you can see that. So the Shelly, both SWs go straight to the switches and nowhere else. One goes to one switch, one goes to the other. Uh, and then the zeros on the Shelly go up to the light. So uh, you find your light circuit, so that's what you've got to identify. The electrician left, um, he'd written on the wires, you can see one says diner, the other one says loop, another one says loop, so that's the in and the out. And uh, just incidentally, um, he's connected these two sockets, uh, I think this, this one has the, um, right anyway, oh, don't, don't worry about that. Anyway, so he's labelled these up, uh, diner, and uh, so you find your the ones that go direct to the lights and uh, they go to, I've got the ones that are in the kitchen half of my, uh, I've got an open plan. So the kitchen section of it goes to uh, either the 01, I can't remember which way around it was. And they've got a sofa kind of living area in the other side of the kitchen controlled by the other switch. And that goes to the 01. So the 01 and 02 just go direct to the lights and nowhere else. You can see that. Where's the O1? 
yeah can't really see that maybe wonder if O2 is better yeah I think you can probably see these two wires here those are ones for one um, lighting circuit and one goes to another grey white these gr yes it comes down here cross down and into straight into O1 or O2 and that's it like I say I'm not an electrician so anything you copy from this video is at your own risk um, I'd advise you to take photos of everything as it was label everything up that's what the little bits of uh, red tape are I labelled it all up um, wrote down a key on a piece of paper as to uh, what each one was whether it was the live feed in the live feed out which one went to the light and took a, back, a picture of the back of how they were all connected on the um, switch plate as it was done by a qualified electrician so logically if you uh, reconnect it from the photo you took and the key you did if everything's not going right everything's going to be correct again um, make sure you also use the correct uh, thickness of wire um, as well and you're good to go I re-earthed, reconnected the earth there to the switch plate on the wall. You can see all the other earths. I imagine that's all what the electrician did on the other side from the building work we had done. Um, I think the Shelley uh, doesn't need earthing itself. I'm sure it's got some kind of special classification. Some devices don't need earthing, but there's no uh, socket on it to earth it. So don't worry about that. Um, you can get better connector blocks than this. These are too small. I might uh, change them. Because um, the wires keep popping out. They're barely in. Uh, but before you pack it away, make sure it's nice and make sure all your connections are nice and tight. Because it is a bit of a squeeze getting it back in. And make sure as well, when you're um, screwing it back in, see my Shelly device is going to go here. But if I get it behind this screw um, hole here and I'm fastening the wall plate back down here, make sure you, it's below the screw hole because you're going to screw your screw right through your shelly and uh, well, who knows what will happen. It'll definitely be broken and you'll probably electrocute yourself. So make sure that uh, when you're packing it away, you're not screwing any screws into your shelly device. Um, that's it. Good luck.